Have you ever wondered if perhaps octopuses are actually aliens living among us? Today we're talking about another mind. Why is this topic getting so popular lately? For example, there's a movie on Netflix, My Teacher is an Octopus, or the book Alien Mind. Then there's Cthulhu chasing Rick and Morty, the aliens from the movie Arrival. Let's get right off the ground and into the ocean, so to speak. Vampire Squid sounds like the title of a horror movie, doesn't it? Although, who knows what was going on on Earth 280 million years ago? But don't judge this ancient relative of the octopus, but don't worry, the reality is far less dramatic. But the fact that octopuses have blue blood is something out of science fiction, and it is due to the fact that the blood is present hemocyanin in which there is copper. True, it must be said that blue blood becomes so only when in contact with air when oxidized. In general, it is transparent. Octopuses have even managed to turn their weakness into strength on the one hand with no bones or hard parts they seem so unprotected, but that gives them amazing flexibility and the ability to be wherever they want to be. They become like ninjas of the sea. Even a large specimen can fit through a gap only 2.5 centimeters 1 inch thick. How about stories of octopuses escaping from oceanariums through a sewer or a hole in the wall? These creatures are so ingenious, they use their tentacles to open the lids of aquariums. So if you ever decide to have an octopus at home, be prepared for it to be not just a pet, but a real Houdini of the marine world. Octopuses fight for survival is sometimes so fierce and desperate that they are willing to go to any lengths to avoid death. An octopus in a dolphin's mouth managed to get out climb on its head and cling on so that the dolphin began to suffocate because the octopus had cut off its access to oxygen. To get rid of the octopus, the dolphin was actively jumping and tumbling in the water. Getting back to the question of longevity, what if all octopuses lived at least two years longer? The thing is, they really are pretty darn smart. Unscrewing lids, squeezing through tiny holes, and perfect camouflage are just some of the octopus's abilities. Do octopuses really have completely different brains from us mammals? Octopuses are special creatures. The thing is that they have a brain distributed on tentacles. It thinks with different limbs. Each tentacle acts as if it has its own independent mind and intentions. If one of them is amputated, that tentacle will continue to respond to stimuli for the next hour. It can crawl away if it wants to. In the course of evolution, octopuses have diversified organs eight half-brains in the tentacles. There are central heart amplifiers. Moreover, in octopuses, nerve fibers do not contain myelin sheaths. Myelin sheath is a fat-like sheath that surrounds the axons of some nerve cells and enhances the speed of transmission of nerve signals. The brain has evolved independently from the brains of mammals and humans included, an alternative mind in a sense. These adaptations help octopuses survive. They can perform different tasks at the same time. One tentacle to strip a crab, another to search for the next prey, and with their ease to monitor their surroundings to avoid danger. Octopuses also have excellent visual memory and are quick learners. Some species even use tools, and almost all have certain personality traits. Can you imagine what these creatures would be capable of if you gave them a little more time? Would they be just as intelligent or even smarter? In fact, it would even make sense. The longer a creature lives, the more it learns. We know that octopuses can learn to cope by watching other animals, including humans, do so. Octopuses in captivity often learn to play and solve puzzles because otherwise they are simply bored. Yes, that's the downside of having a highly developed intellect. You need something to do. In the city of Coburg, an octopus named Otto has been known to juggle his tank mates and throw rocks to break glass several times. Otto even caused short circuits by shooting a jet of water at a ceiling lamp. How he even knew how electricity worked, no idea. Perhaps Otto learned about it somehow. Maybe someone accidentally left a physics textbook nearby. So this means that if the octopuses can start living for a very long time, they could overthrow us and take over. Fantasies that octopuses could go on land and become intelligent run up against the problem of slow octopus evolution. The only catch here is that octopuses are extremely slow to evolve because they can make changes to their genome on their own. Paradoxical, isn't it? For example, adaptation to cold conditions involves changing their genetic material and slowing down their metabolism. Roughly speaking, 
When they get into cold water because of the ability to make changes to their genetic material, the number of mutations is greatly reduced and basically evolution is slower. On the other hand, octopuses would be really comfortable in space. They're neutrally buoyant, meaning they don't float or sink, which means gravity doesn't matter to them. Have you seen how vertebrates behave in weightlessness? They're terrified, but octopuses will feel fine if they take water with them. On the one hand, this is all a bit reassuring, but on the other hand, I'm not the only one who thought octopuses could take over the world. What's more, they are quite capable of studying us just as we study them. The most striking example is the story of Craig Foster who dived without a wetsuit and made contact with a female octopus for weeks. She eluded him and hid in her den, disguised herself and swam away. Well did everything an octopus is supposed to do when it notices a predator, but over time the animal realized Foster was not a threat. Then, after an almost obsessive courtship, she reached out and touched him. The female became so accustomed to the male that she began allowing him to be near her den, taking him hunting, and generally letting him be around for as long as Foster wanted. Perhaps if the octopus had lived longer, she would have had time to teach him a trick or two. They are simply incredible. Octopuses are able to rapidly regenerate their nerve fibers and limbs, and it is more likely that their evolution will be in that direction rather than qualitative change. Thus, they are more likely to grow something new on themselves than to evolve qualitatively. But why do octopuses need three hearts? If we compare this to the organization of their nervous system, it's a common story. In fact, octopuses don't actually have three regular hearts. They have one heart and two venous sinuses. A venous sinus is a structure where the vessel wall has a stronger structure of muscle fibers. These muscle fibers help to make the pulsation of blood more stable and stronger. Two of these venous sinuses located in front of the gills serve as amplifiers. Mimic octopuses are able to mimic other sea creatures by changing their shape. They observe other animals throughout their lives and learn to copy them, for example, by mimicking jellyfish, stingrays, and even algae. Simply put, they can integrate into groups of other marine animals, making them less likely to be eaten by a predator. Octopuses are very good at multitasking. But if octopuses are so incredibly clever, why haven't they figured out some foolproof way to survive after mating? They can unscrew caps, throw rocks, and tame divers, but they can't do well with the female. They've made some progress here too, over millions of years of natural selection. Male octopuses have come up with a couple of creative solutions for dealing with particularly dangerous females. Well, the males couldn't get any bigger, so they came up with a better idea. In order to somehow protect themselves, male octopuses have an ectocatalyst grown something like a modified tentacle specifically designed to reproduce at a distance. With this extra arm, the octopus delivers what it needs to the female and doesn't take as many risks in the process. This works well, sometimes in some octopuses, such as Argonauts. The long ectocatalyst separates from the male's body and loads everything he needs mating, even if he meets a calm female and doesn't get eaten. But it seems after doing its job the problems aren't over. Mating leads to a rapid decline in the male's health. They enter a period of aging and death within weeks or even days. The octopus's sex organs mature due to the optic gland, which also shuts down the digestive glands and the male simply starves to death. By the way, there are poisonous octopuses. In most cases, octopuses are not poisonous and use other means of self-defense or hunting, but there are species of octopus with deadly venom. It was recently revealed that it is not their own poison, but the products of microorganisms that live in their salivary glands. 